The resurgence of the Yakuza series has been one of the industry's most unexpected success stories. A distinctly Japanese action-adventure franchise, Sega tried and failed to bring it to the West in the early days. Things eventually got so bad it took three years for Yakuza 5 to be localized. However, starting with the release of the prequel, Yakuza 0, in 2017, the series has found its footing outside of Asia. Yakuza Kiwami is a remake of the original game and launched into Game Pass alongside the Xbox version in April 2020. Narratively speaking, it should be the essential entry point for newcomers, but the franchise has evolved quite a bit over the years. Let's find out if Yakuza Kiwami is a Game Pass or a Game Thing. <laughs> The Yakuza series is a story of Japanese crime syndicates battling for control of a fictional Japanese district. You follow Kazuma Kiryu, whose life changes when his best friend kills the family's head while protecting Kiryu's childhood friend. Kiryu takes the blame for the murder in an attempt to protect his friends, but after 10 years in prison, Kiryu's childhood friend goes missing, and his best friend is now the head of his own crime family and hungry for power. <laughs> Kiryu is released, multiple Yakuza wind up dead, and 10 billion yen disappears from the family's bank account. It's Kiryu's job to get to the bottom of it all. <laughs> The Yakuza series is a complex soap opera. Even in this initial entry, there are far too many characters to keep track of. There's a thick coating of Japanese culture covering the entire experience, and it doesn't make it any easier to follow. The story is driven by simple themes like revenge, heartbreak, and dealing with change, which helps players wrap their heads around it. Kiryu is the tough guy with a heart of gold who you will want to root for. It's surprisingly compelling. We want to experience more. <laughs> Brawling takes up the vast majority of your time while playing. There's a simple rock-paper-scissor system that gives you the ability to hit, block, or grab. You build combos to gain power and unleash devastating power moves. You can also switch between four different combat styles, and there are tons of upgrades that give you new moves or improve existing ones. Fighting your average thug on the streets feels good. Each hit has a real impact, and there's a risk-reward of trying to chain hits together to build a combo before an enemy can interrupt it. This changes when you face one of the many bosses. Even on the default difficulty setting, bosses have mountains of health that must be chipped away. Early on, you don't have many moves, so these battles become repetitive rather quickly. Making things more tricky, bosses also have access to power moves. In the player's hands, they feel like a satisfying finisher, but when the bosses use them, they feel cheap. It took us 20 minutes and a pile of healing items to complete one of the early encounters. If you grow tired of fisticuffs, the semi-open world of Yakuza provides plenty of minigames to play. There's an arcade where you can play a claw game to catch toys for a desperate businessman and a strangely raunchy version of rock, paper, scissors aimed at children. You can rise through the ranks of a slot car racing league or partake in more traditional hobbies like bowling, pool, mahjong, or gambling. This is just scratching the surface. While none of the side activities are great on their own, it's the sum of all the parts that leaves an impression. There's a ton of content to play if you're going for 100% completion. The open-world action-adventure is a dying breed. Most similar franchises have turned into action RPGs at this point, but since all seven mainline entries of the Yakuza series are on Game Pass, there are plenty of comps. All of the games have high Metacritic scores, but Yakuza Kiwami is one of the lower-rated games in the series. The prequel, Yakuza 0, is one of the best, and fans say it's also the ideal place to start. If you are looking for a pure brawler instead, Streets of Rage 4 is based on classic arcade beat-em-ups. If you are looking for a more traditional open-world action-adventure, Sunset Overdrive is the prototype for Insomniac Spider-Man games and is excellent in its own right. Just Cause 4 is another option with almost too much content. Now that Grand Theft Auto 5 has left the service, there's one less viable option. Now it's time to find out. Is Yakuza Kiwami a game pass or a game fail? The Yakuza games as a whole are a strange mashup of three imperfect parts. The story can be difficult to comprehend, but its core is very compelling. The brawling feels good, but it's poorly balanced. The minigames add a ton of variety, but few of them are actually great. 
It's the combination of the three that somehow works, and we now understand why the series has ascended mere cult status. The biggest problem with Kiwami on Game Pass is that it's not the best in the series, or even the best place to start. There are several other Yakuza games we'd recommend first, but that doesn't mean that Kiwami isn't worth playing. Yakuza Kiwami gets a Game Pass. For next week, the randomizer selects... Need for Speed 2015.